is tough. It is. Uh, everything sort of bends where those two bunkers are, and they're sort of 350 yards to get past that. And there's an annoying little bunker that's about 30 yards short of this green. So uh, you have to be precise with both the first and the second shot. Frank, here at the ninth, what are most players trying to do? Well, you really have to be aware of that bunker um, that's about 25 yards short of the green. If you, if you finish up there, that's one of the hardest shots in golf, the long bunker shot. So you've got to carry that, even if you want to run the ball onto this green. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Good par. Excellent front side. Trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully. Hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but... He'll settle. No doubt they'll be happy with that shot. Well played. Birdie putt coming up. Had a bogey on this hole yesterday. Oh, I thought he had that. Now putt for putt. Little redemption chance here, had bogey yesterday. He's made it. Well, such a beautiful time of year to play the game. The leaves are turning here in New England. It's a cool, crisp afternoon at the TPC Boston. And now we've made the turn, Frank headed to the back nine. A nice par four to start. No fairway bunkers to worry about. Hazard left and right. And a green that shapes about 45 degrees to the left. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Well, certainly playable from here. Ball is in the first cut. Not too bad. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Good putt. Now at the 461-yard par 412, how do you play it, Frank? Well, hit two of your best here. Somehow find the fairway, and then you take anything on the green here. You see a lot of sixes here over the years. Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we've got to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, give it another 20, 30 yards. Oh, yeah. 
Frank, obviously way too much club there. <laughs> You've got to think something like that, or at least misread the win. This is never going to sit down. He'll need to be strong with this. Pretty good shot right there. And he makes it for par. And another par four here at the 13th TPC Boston. This is a slug as paradise. Plays much longer than it's 450 yards uphill. Big carry with the tee shot. That second shot's not exactly short either. That one is in the fairway. Down there about 290 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Ooh. This is an awkward length. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Frank at the 14th down. Anytime you get a par four that is almost 500 yards, it gets your attention. It does play downhill, though, so you don't have to smash your way here. It's better if you can get something moving a little right to left. Then it will take the natural slope. You get a little more yardage out of it that way. Playing it point to point. Fairway off the tee, fairway on the second shot, and now a really good angle to attack. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Slight miss, and he'll have to deal with some of the heavy grass. Playing a par five, Frank, what happened on that third shot? Yeah, it was a poor decision. But, um, well, hopefully he can eradicate that from the, the memory banks and um, really knuckle down on this. Do not want to drop a shot or make six here. Inside 20 feet, never bad. 18 feet to be exact. This would give him the par. like that one again. Frank, we see it every single round. These kind of putts determine whether it's a good score or an average score. Yeah, and just like that, a bogey. He does not feel like he deserves it. So not his best work. He'll walk away with a bogey. All right, Frank, we're teed up at the 15th and a lot to talk about with your caddy on this tee shot. Yeah, which club, which line, series of bunkers down the left, that one short right doesn't really come into play. Another one, really, fairway first. You can see a little bit off balance on the tee, and that one is going to be in the rough. 
You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish. But, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Settles in over the putt. Just drip that in. Well, it's four and a quarter inches. Use it all. Moving on to 16 now. This is one where you sort of lick your chops, Frank, because it's it's pretty short, 161 yards. Where's the challenge here? <laughs> where the fish go. That big lake on the left, that's the challenge. Oh, this is heading in the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? A few more birdies like that. Rich, you never know, just might sneak placed on the podium. In the top 10 right now. Frank, the 17th here at TPC Boston underwent quite a radical change. Yeah, that renovation um, and that redesign that they did, um, it, it, it changed the character of the hole, but they still kept that big mound in the middle of the green. So that second shot is still punishing if you misjudge it. When players nurse in the lead, they might want to think about playing it safe down the right side, but if you're trying to make up some ground, you could uh, try to fly the church pews that divide the fairway into two sections, and that would give you a nice short wedge in. Yeah, give you a short wedge in, but really the risk, is it worth it? Well, that's how you play the game, right there. This is for his birdie. Playing beautiful golf, eight under for the tournament. Frank, the 18th year at TPC Boston, for whatever reason, generates quite a bit of buzz, doesn't it? It, it does. The longer hitters, obviously, they lick their chops. They're having a chance to, uh, to make this green in two. But if you find one of the fairway bunkers, the addition of that pot bunker um, for the layup, that just it makes that decision that much more difficult. Well, we've seen this before today, in the bunker. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee, he's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, you just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. The second shot. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. That's a bit offline in the rough. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Bit surprising, misses the green in regulation here at the par five. Yeah, you'd think this is one of the easier holes on the golf course. Um, so now just trying to avoid six. Frank, this is where the mental game really comes into play. You've hit a second consecutive shot into the rough. It, this could compound very, very quickly, so now's the chance to... That is a tremendous shot right there. Touch, nerve, had it all, and he has the bottom of the barrel. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly have looked the best